Hello, everybody. Welcome, my fiends, to the Labyrinth Castle, which I will show you just for today. Just some three videos. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter um, video today, or three gameplays, excuse me. Uh, just two in ranked, and one from my first game in the uh, Fiend event, actually, a Fiend and Fairy event. So, we're going to kick it off with some exciting and thrilling totally no floodgate usage at all uh gameplay uh for my lab deck and, and ranked and as you as i said before probably in my previous videos and those who know me personally i'm a big advocate for metaverse into necro valley i'm not kidding this wins fucking games on its own and i saw he's doing some virtual world bullshit so i'm like hey necro valley time i'm not gonna fuck around i'm not gonna wait uh, he's gonna have to forcibly go around and bounce um, Necro Valley, and I want to get um, off my Labyrinth, uh, my big welcome, uh, before he has a chance to negate it, and I want to bait him with this effect from hand to special summoner to the field, and I know that he's gonna fall for that for sure, for sure. So then I want to use my Imperm on that. So let us continue. As I said, I get her out. I'm able to negate him. He continues doing virtual world stuff because he was able to get Necro Valley off the field. But, hey, I'm just going to call Synchro right away off a dimensional barrier. I'm not going to play any games. I know how strong virtual world can uh, still be. Uh, at least when I first started playing Master Duel, I remember getting stomped by fucking virtual world and VFT. You know, everybody knows. That, <laughs> uh, obviously, that's banned now. But So he's forced kind of to play a little bit differently. Um, he's able to go into this uh, XZ zombie guy he just is shy of beating over me he's at exactly 29 so he's not able to beat over uh, thick lady booty uh, please uh, do not pause that and replay that uh, but I still have Necro Valley in hand right uh, the adventure thing bounced it to hand so I still am definitely in the lead of this game and my gameplay is that since I have um, another imperm I'm going to try to do something to bait out this guy and then negate him again. He thinks he's going to be able to do something. Uh, he's not. Also, I still have a big welcome in the grave, so I'm able to banish that and pick anything on the field and send it to hand, as long as I have a level 8 or higher fiend. So I have a lot of options, and I'm probably thinking about bouncing her, uh, or uh, the zombie one, uh, to prompt his effect so then I can negate and resolve the chain last with infinite impermanence, right? This is how trap decks work. There's actually some skill involved. Yes, chaining is a skill. Yes, it's not just monkey flip deck, as uh, some of <laughs> you might think. So it's really nice. I actually get a second lady off the rip, but here we go. I'm going to banish uh, the um, the big welcome. I'm going to target this guy. He's going to do that back to G-snatch my fucking imperm. Then he's going to uh, do, um, you know, he's going to try to negate um my my lady effect i was really just trying to do this one but uh fortunately it worked out anyway i think i, I misclicked and I, and I did both i did the one in the hand and this one i just wanted the one to search out the trap because i wanted eradicator for obvious reasons look at all these spell cards so that was kind of my game plan too so everything that i mentioned kind of goes off i'm able to get lady he takes my imperm i know it's an imperm right we can see my sleeve there um and i'm able to get a uh, lovely out and uh, revive a dimensional barrier before I put the Necro Valley down. That's a key thing, right? You don't want to just slam down Necro Valley. At least get uh, one last uh, lovely effect off, and hopefully it will be their last one. So uh, we'll keep uh, going through here. We'll beat over that guy. I didn't feel, feel like reading the adventure cards. I didn't know they could protect from destruction. Whatever. It does not matter to me. Because uh, I still have a pot of prosperity, which is like really, really sick for my last card. I bet he's, you know, pretty, pretty mad. Um, I grab an Ash. Just it's a defensive move. I could have um, easily have grabbed a Lord in case he had some type of back row destruction. Um, that probably would have been the smarter play. Uh, what else did I reveal off of that Solemn? Uh, we could have done Solemn if he if he activated another uh, spell card. But I was just I didn't care about Solemn because I knew I already had Eradicator, and I could have grabbed Welcome as well. Um, there, there's a lot of options actually. I don't think I could have gone wrong with any of them, but I, I opted to pick the most defensive one. Um, realistically, Lord probably would have been more defensive and better to ensure that these last two cards would have been saved. But I didn't really care because if somebody was going to target and destruct them, I was going to just chain them. They're uh, two normal trap cards that could just be chained right away, considering I already have uh, the activation requirements on the field. So, here we go. Get rid of all those 
dumbass adventure magic cards. He doesn't know how Necro Valley works. A lot of people don't. So, um, and then I just throw out. Yeah. Yeah, that, that deer barrier. That deer berry will uh will get you to fucking rage. Um, let's see how much I get this other guy to rage. Um four. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta clear my throat. Not used to talking this much uh, uninterrupted. Um, but here we go. Not too bad of an opener. Uh, it's always nice to see Pot of Extrav. Always nice. Let it off the rip. Let's see what we get. So, awesome. Like I said, Metaverse. You know what I'm gonna pick with Metaverse, right? And I also have the Ariana, so I'm gonna be able to grab um, probably Big Welcome. Oh, it was what I would have grabbed if he didn't fucking effect failure me. I was like, oh, okay, so this is the type of game that he's doing. And effect failure immediately makes me raise an eyebrow, as anybody else should. If you're playing any type of ranked and you're playing any type of deck, you see your opponent use effect failure. Usually that's, you know, it's not, it's, it's a very good card, but if it's a tuner and it has it's a light, sometimes it makes you think about the type of decks that they're using. Also, my opponent is running a 60 card deck, so I know some bullshit's gonna happen. Um, something with the graveyard, something with mill, most likely, right? That's how people get through 60 card decks. Um, I was genuinely surprised. I was like, maybe this could be a 60 card sword soul. I figured it was some type of synchro deck. Um, so that is kind of what I'm thinking going in. And I definitely know that this metaverse is going to pop off with Necro Valley, but I want to wait and see what he's going to do. Dark Magician. Uh, again, he could not be actually playing Dark Magician. He could just be using this, you know, the little illusion of the chaos engine with Magician Souls and whatever you call them, they search out the cards. It's a pretty effective engine, uh, especially in Spellcaster decks. So, I, again, I'm like, what is going on? But this definitely, definitely, definitely... Um, I, I just I also was just salty. I wanted to just hit him with the Ash since he hit me with the Effect Failure. And then I want to see what he's going to do after that. Since he can't search. Oh, Small World. Oh, so I'm, I'm a little scared. So I just instantly Necro Valley uh, defensively. Because uh, I feel like he probably would have already lightning stormed or harpies if he had it right cupid pitch i have two imperms right so i'm fine with bringing the first one because i figured he's trying to adjust the levels he's trying to get into something kind of crazy right he has a level five he has excel he still is trying to get uh synchro climb essentially right he's trying to have these uh gain levels to get into something clearly i'm like okay that's my last imperm fuck it yeah chaos ruler is a very good card um, he's not going to be able to do anything realistically. Um, he does grab one of the pendulums, but again, he tries to start us. Doesn't know how Necro Valley works. Beat over my Ariana. Okay, um, it is, looks a little bad for me, but not really. I know I have Ariana, and I drew into a Solemn. But honestly, just the Ariana was enough to know that I'm in charge of this game. It doesn't look like it, but with Necro Valley, Ariana, and a big welcome... I always grab Big Welcome if I have Ariana, uh, most likely, uh, or if I have any other field, um, Fiend on the field already, because I like grabbing uh, Lovely, bring out Lovely, bringing the other Fiend, in this case Ariana, back to my hand, and then using Lovely's effect to pop anything from the hand or field. I figured his hand is struggling, so I'm going to pop the Chaos Ruler since 3k is bigger than the 2900 that Lovely would have. So that is exactly what I'm going to do that boom okay what is he gonna do now i have i still have a solemn okay i knew he had that dark magician card he's gonna search something puts one back okay he perform a pals right i remember reading this uh while i was waiting for him to make his plays i also remember this guy taking fucking forever to, to do his move and of course my girlfriend was about to pick me up so i was like oh my god i gotta hurry i gotta hurry <laughs> and uh so i'm like okay what's what's going on here um I read it. I, I did a quick skim. I'm like, oh, grab something from the graveyard. I don't care. I have Necro Valley up. He's probably not going to read that, as he doesn't, and negates that. So I, I save my Solemn. I'm going to wait till he um, activates some type of spell uh, in the hand. Or if there's a summon, uh, again, that really scares me. Uh, Magician Souls does not scare me at all. But this guy, I don't care. I'm not going to read him. I'm just not going to let him do anything. And he still is able to Synchro into a 3, which I was really... That's crazy to me. He's a Synchro probably all the way going from 2 to 12 in his fucking extra deck there on top of having pendulums and yeah I, I don't know what he was doing i don't think he knew either to be honest i literally don't know what this deck does we could look at his profile afterwards and maybe you guys could uh figure that out for me since this is a very much a head scratcher um 
yeah, he, he grabs this. I, I, I don't feel like reading this because I, I remember reading at the time it doesn't do shit unless he has a he's able to have a synchro on the field. I'm not going to let him fucking synchro, right? So I'm able to, you know, get Ariana, get her because Ariana's effect activated special summon. Maxi, a little late for that, buddy, but that's okay. And I totally could have um, gone into uh, the rank four plays and... Oh, no, I guess I couldn't have OTK'd him because I did banish the whole Parbinger. But I was also like, I got to go, right? Like I said, <laughs> my girlfriend's waiting on me. Let me just put this guy out of his fucking misery and let's uh, move on with our day, right? So that was the last of the ranked games for today. Let's just double check his uh, deck. Uh, okay, uh, Bestials kind of makes sense. I guess it's Shudo and any type of Synchro or even Bestials is not a bad card, right? So what is this extra deck? Just some... What is his angle? I just do a bunch of bullshit. I mean, obviously you have the staples like Chaos Ruler, Baron, the Sword Soul do with the, all the banish effects, gains attack off of. Um, like I said, here's the Spellcaster engine with this, and then where's Magician Souls over there? Ah, uh, yes, tuning, nice, uh, ooh, a royal rare. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, he clearly knows what this deck does. Um, I don't. We can also check to see what rank he is now. Uh, that was a diamond five game uh profile what rank is this uh, he's still diamond five okay makes sense <laughs> i can't talk shit though i haven't really uh bothered to do rank that was literally my last rank game uh and that was like last week so as this is gonna you know these videos are probably gonna come a little bit slower i'm gonna upload some of the shorts um maybe this gameplay in between and hopefully uh, I'm th I am thinking about doing a, a deck list. I, I do, while I'm not master yet, I do think that I'm pretty confident that the deck I have will get me to masters. It's really similar, actually, since I'm not running the uh, furniture, right? The Ashley's furniture, Ikea furniture, whatever you want to call it, deck list. Um, so it's very similar to how I like to play with more traps instead of relying on the minusing of the furniture. I don't think they're bad, though, now, especially with all the new support. They're pretty fucking solid. Oh, and yeah, it's a mirror match, of course. I just wanted to play one cool uh, game in the event and have fun. It's a fucking sweaty mirror match. This happened last night. I was in bed. I was like, I just want to do one, just get my dailies, you know, and what is going on here? So, again, we're all, I might have to slow this down a bit since we're all chaining a bunch of stuff. Uh, he has Ku Clock, which lets him uh, activate a trap if he has a Labyrinth card. Um, and I decide to opt to grab uh, IDP off of my lady effect since the normal trap is activated and i know idp will go fucking hammy salami and if he wants to pop with lovely he'll probably be forced to pop that back row instead of one of these guys uh which i'm totally fine with um because then that means uh he's not gonna be able to beat over my guys um this is still a pretty close game um but yeah he uh, opts to grab the welcome off of that uh he's gonna try to attack off of that i'm gonna say no let me just uh you know, pitch the furniture cards just to, to set one since he's not going to be able to attack over anything anyway, unless he wants to crash our lovelies, which I doubt it since it, this is going to give him a lot of um, advantage, right? Um, able to add Ku Clock back to hand since something was pitched, right? The furniture cards always uh, trigger the uh, Ku Clock, and he has a field. And as people uh, usually say, whoever activates the field first usually wins, at least in the Labyrinth uh, mirror match. It's very, very solid. Um, I think I heard that from a Fatsoid video, so uh, shout out to him. And I think that's true, and that's why in this event, actually, after this game, I opted to put in two uh, fields because it actually is uh, pretty solid. Not in ranked. I would just still have the one in ranked. Um, but yeah, I, I decided to grab the IDP again. Um, and then before the uh, activation goes through with the uh, Labyrinth or the resolution of Labyrinth Labyrinth, he's going to try to pop it. He does. I'm like, okay, this is annoying, right? This guy knows clearly if you have the field you could do that and i don't know why i banished that to do that i think i could have chained this to send the field to hand but i i don't know what i was thinking i was probably also tired because i could have totally have done that and he wouldn't have been able to pop anything uh and he tries to compulse his own lady which i thought was a little interesting i guess to force either her effect out or something um but it definitely brings my effect out um so okay cool right we're chaining all this furniture this is all me uh me resetting that and then boom i'm gonna pop his field spell right one for one right eye for an eye and all that uh and he's able to draw for that he's gonna try to ku clock again um 
uh, probably because he's planning on after adding the uh, chandelier, right? He's gonna set one and he's gonna be able to activate whatever type of welcome trap that is because of the coup cloth. I can see what this guy's doing. And for me, oh, maybe that's why I didn't want to bounce a lovely uh, or lady because I knew I had Kurei Kara, so I just wanted to tribute whatever he had. Uh, so we, uh, I tr was trying to bait him into doing all that so I could have got a huge career card. I probably could have OTK'd him if I maybe done this a little bit differently and I was able to bait him better. Um, but whatever, can't complain. I got a 3k that could revive a, a monster from my opponent's graveyard. Essentially, it's more instead of just the revival on my field, it's taking something away from their graveyard that they could use. Preferably the furniture, right? So he bounces his back to hand and I'm running career card. I'm like, uh... My brother in Christ, this is not once per turn. Uh, her, her end phase effect is, but uh, yeah, she herself is not, and he has to put that in defense. Uh, for some reason, he, fair, he he is fixated on this IDP. I'm like, well, I'm glad that IDP is my lightning rod here, right? <laughs> Searches out storming. I think that might not be bad in this event. I definitely would never run the battle traps and ranked. I stopped doing that a long time ago. Um, I saltily uh, just crashed into that, and I realized maybe I don't want to beat over that with this lady. I just want the curry car on him. Although I kind of make the mistake, my board is full, so I can't take anything from his grave. So that's why that curry car effect doesn't go off. Oh, and I try to Dogmanica right off the rip because I just want to pop whatever uh, back row he has. And I compulse my own lady this time because I want her effect and, and trigger that effect off. Um, this time I think I might go for Eradicator, I assume. Or no, another IDP because <laughs> fuck him, right? Uh, bring her to hand. He pops uh, the compulse, which is fine because that's what I triggered. Boom. I uh, Dogmatic a Punish pop his Chandelier, um, and he's going to back check uh, off of the whatever the Fiend, and I'm going to Entis pop that back row off on top of chaining all these other effects. He's seeing this stuff go on, right? Let's fast forward. All these effects are going to pop off. He's going to have not a very good time, right? Yeah, and then boom, snipe the last one in his hand. Yeah. Yeah, it's GG. Uh, I think my opponent just played a little too fast. Uh, I also, uh, I can't remember, I think I went first, right, this game. So that kind of does settle a lot in the mirror match if you go first. Obviously, depending on any type of red reboot, which uh, you'll see. I'll record um, the bunch of games I just did today for uh, the event. There are a bunch of red reboots going around uh, and evenly matches. I mean, that goes on in ranks, but, or even the reboots are going to be going on in ranks soon. And, yeah, that uh, I could totally recommend that if you want to run three evenly and two red reboot harpies and lightning storm, go for it. You're gonna need it for this event. I've gone against so many goddamn mirror matches. It's, yeah, it's it's not fun to be honest. I think I'm almost done. I'm trying to get. I think I'm about uh, six or less wins away from wrapping up all the gems, and I'll go back to ranked. And that's my goal. Hopefully, I can hit master, so I could really, really, you know, say, hey, here's a deck list that got me the master. But um, who knows? Uh, we'll see how you guys uh, react to this. Maybe no one will see this. This will just be a 20-minute video that will just go into the ether, and that's totally fine. I just want to get these matches out of the way, give you guys a little bit of update, and test myself and see how I like this new format now that I'm recording on my PC instead of uh, screen recording the videos like I used to do on my mobile phone. So we'll see. Hopefully this will be, uh, ironically enough, maybe less editing, um, maybe just some more upload times. This will be longer videos. So all right. Uh, I think I will see uh, uh, you guys around. I'll see my lovely fiends around. So trying to, I'm testing that. I'm testing that. We'll see if that works. We'll see if that works. But uh, yeah, catch you guys later. Peace.